Alright guys, so today I have something a little different for you. I hope you like this video. I don't have any pole dance for you, but I'm going to show you how I prepare my pole dance shoes. Yes, I prepare my pole dance shoes. And also some things you can do to make them last a little longer. Um, so I have a pair of new shoes here that I'm going to prepare. So guys, here are my beautiful brand new shoes. They're glow in the dark. They're gorgeous. So here's my stuff so you can see. I have my shoes, of course. I have my X-Acto knife, right? Any art store, you can get it. I'm sure on Amazon, you can get it. And my little duct tapes. Fun print one, which is kind of fun. But lately, I go for the clear, you know? I have this... Gorilla duct tape I got on Amazon. So now the first thing you want to do is take off the stickers. So there's going to be a sticker on the bottom and also behind here. So take off those stickers. You don't want them there. Both of them. On both shoes because when you're doing your dance and making a video for Instagram we can all see the stickers <laughs> so now the most important step um, is I call it a little lip so at the the front edge of my shoe down here I have a little lip here so you have this rubber bottom and out here it kind of sticks out so if you do a lot of um, style like me like slink pole dance style we um, were sliding a lot on the front part of our shoe and you cannot get it back on you can't glue it, Gorilla Glue, nothing is going to work. If you glue it back or, I don't know, attach it back somehow, it's going to pop off again. It's, in my opinion, it's not usable anymore. And it's actually uh, a little dangerous because you can trip over this if the rubber popped off while you're dancing, you can trip. So. Once that happens, you got to throw away the shoe. I don't think it's usable after that. Unless you, you just use it for photo shoots like I did with my shoes. So I'm going to try to show you a close-up. You see at the edge here, there's a little lip there sticking out. Right? Right here. You want to take that off because it's going to pop off. All right, guys, this is what I mean. Look what happened to my heel here. You see this? So the lip came off. I don't know. It wasn't cut down enough and it eventually popped off. So this is what will happen if you don't cut that little lip off. What I do is... I use an exacto knife. So there are people that they use other things like they sand it down and stuff um, and they use some equipment. I just use an exacto knife. You can buy it at any art store. So we're going to do that now. Now you have to be very careful because there were a couple times that yes, I cut myself um, so be very careful when you do this what I like to do is I, I just grab it 
you know, I'm a righty, so I have it in my left hand and I kind of bring it here. And then I have the X-Acto knife and I, I cut out and I make sure my fingers are not in the way, you know, that where I'm cutting out. I kind of bring them down and then I start cutting it out this way. And I just slowly take my time and start peeling away this slip, sticking out, making sure the front is super smooth. Nothing is sticking out. And I go to the sides a little bit. I'm gonna show you a close up in a second. Just to make sure that while I'm dancing and sliding on the floor, nothing is going to, you know, uh, cause the bottom to pop off. And then really you just want to try to smooth it out, you know, as much as you can. So you see this is uh, all my little extras that came off. Here you see I shaped it off. So it's pretty flat. There's nothing sticking out. And you see I went on the side a little bit. You see where I cut? Maybe I'll cut this up, make this a little smoother. You see, I also like to look here. Mm, I might cut, cut off a little more, you see? Sticking out a little bit. But I cut off all this here that you see all the way to the the side a little bit you know because like i said i i dance on this area too but i think that this is super important you you gotta cut off that lip if you're doing any dance with the shoe sliding it it's gonna pop off then to also prepare that so um if your foot is too big, let's say for the plastic, but this is your shoe size, what you can do to stretch the plastic is get a hair dryer and blow on the plastic. So once you get the plastic nice and warm, you can put your foot in the shoe and it'll stretch and mold to your foot. So this I don't think that this works for shrinking it. I wish I knew a way to shrink the plastic um, because actually I have a very long thin foot and always the, the shoes are always a little loose on me here. And my favorite is the sandal with the clear because I like the clear because it just like elongates my leg there's nothing cutting off at my ankle, so I always go for the clear sandal. Um, so it's always a little loose and I just deal with it. But if you guys know any ways to shrink this, let me know. Write it in the comments below. Um, but I know to make it stretch bigger, either wear socks, right? If you wear socks, it's going to stretch it. Or you can get a hair dryer and, and keep this up, slide your foot in it. So that's what I do to prepare my shoes. Now, uh, how, do we, how do I make them last a little longer? Because I'm going to show you, my shoes tend to break on the sides. I have a pair here. Like an older pair. I'm going to show you what I do. I tape it. I mean, this is, you know, just to make them last a little longer, duct tape. So this is what my shoe looks like after I've worked it a bit. So my plastic tends to break here. And also um, here. So I taped it, but I... I tend to get breaking in these areas. So this is what I do, I, I tape it just to make it last a little longer, you know? 
So I do the clear because you can't really see it in videos. This is a different tape that is not as good as this one. I found this one and this one's my favorite. It's, it's nice. Or you can be fun and get like a fun duct tape and just put that where it's breaking. And then you see here, this is why you want to cut the lip. Look at all of this that I've done because I slide a ton with my shoe. Look, you see I cut this lip off. I mean, yeah, if you want, you can get the, uh, the shoe covers that they have now. Um, they didn't have this back when I started <laughs> pole panting with heels. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of the shoe covers because it totally changes the feeling that I have dancing in my shoe because it's like more slippery and um, I don't like how it looks. Um, when I take videos or when I train, I don't know, I don't like seeing just like this sock over my beautiful shoe. It's just not for me. But a lot of people use that. So if you like it, go get it to protect your shoes. So guys, that's how I prepare my shoes. I prepare them for dance. And I know today's video was different. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.